talk a little bit about Hatha Yoga and uh, sun salutations. So here we have the sun salutations and it's a sweet sequence. And can you tell a bit about this sequence from a practice of Hatha Yoga? Yes, sure. So Hatha Yoga, Ha Ta, actually means sun and moon. And sun and moon we can understand as Ida and Pingala. In the Chinese Taoist system, this is yin and yang, yes. Sun and moon. These are, again, these are the forces of duality. And yoga has to do with reconciling these forces of duality, just like we were talking earlier with uh, Shiva and Shakti. Well, here, hatha is implying the same thing, that we, we bring balance between the sun and the moon so that the third spiritual force can awaken. And sun salutations is actually... It's, it's not clear because it might, it might actually be older. Some say that sun salutations is older than Hatha yoga. And it's its own standalone practice, actually. Sun salutations is its own separate system, but it has been included in the Hatha yoga for convenience sake, right? It, it has been categorized, cataloged in as a practice of Hatha yoga, but we can understand it as being its own standalone system where you can just do sun salutations and you can make that your spiritual sadhana. And this is what I teach to my beginners, 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 where if you were to actually come and meet me and I were to teach you a, give you a free yoga lesson, this is what I would teach to my absolute beginners, sun salutations and Gayatri mantra. And then maybe a month later, we come back and we'll learn Pavanuktasan and we'll learn some other mantras. But for the absolute beginners, this is really great because if you look at this, you're going through all the different ranges. You're, you're exercising the ranges of motion of the whole body. So you're, you're able to exercise your, all the different uh, joints in your body, all the limbs in your body, to be able to maintain the full range of motion for every limb in your body. So that you become more flexible, so that you maintain optimal health, so that you improve your circulation, you keep your circulation uh, strong and flowing. And this also starts to tune you into natural cycles. So as we can see in sun salutations, there are 12 positions. Why 12? Why 12? What <laughs> about? Yeah, it's also about the, yeah, the Vedic astrology. Eh? So it's also about the sun and yeah. uh, the sun and the moon. And yeah, so it's about nature and also about the exactly. uh, yeah. yeah. Yes. So there's 12 months in a year. Yeah. And this is the solar calendar, right? In the solar calendar, there's 12 months in a year. There's 12 constellations. There's 24 hours in a day, which is 12 times two. There's 60 minutes in an hour, which is 12 times five. So this number 12 is very, very important for the sun. And so when aligning with natural rhythms, when aligning with natural cycles, what is really the king of creating the natural rhythms and natural cycles in nature around us? Yeah, the sun and the moon. <laughs> it's the sun, yes, absolutely. So the sun becomes our focus as beginners in yoga because aligning yourself with the sun by, you're supposed to do sun salutations two, if possible, three times a day in alignment with the sun. So what are these three times of day? When do you think they might be? Morning, <laughs> afternoon, and evening. Yeah. Yeah, we can say yeah. sunrise, yeah. noon, yeah. and sunset. So when the sun is rising, 
we can do sun salutations facing the east. And then at noon time, again, do sun salutations. And again, when the sun is setting. So you can say, if you want, before every meal. So before breakfast, before lunch, before dinner. And this is helping to align you with natural rhythms and patterns, which will improve your health in so many ways, which will improve uh, your insomnia, your discipline and daily structure. Everything is, you know, all of our health and everything is actually centered around the sun and solar energy and gaining solar energy. The more solar energy that you can get from plant sources, the better. The more prana that you have, the more healthier you're going to be. Doing sun salutations is actually a way of activating your own internal solar energy. Your own internal prana is influenced, increased, and cultivated through sun salutations. And we start here with pranam asana, hands together at the heart. And you're going to go all the way through with the breath. And remember that we have to retain the breath here when you're doing Ashtanamaskarasana, when you're doing eight point salute. We're going to hold the breath in. And then you inhale into a cobra pose. And then you continue. So remember that when you do eight point salute, you're going to be holding the breath. And the beautiful thing about sun salutations is that it's a practice that anybody can do. It's perfect for beginners. And even if you need to do your own adjustments and you can change it up in your own way, if you find it too hard as a beginner, that's fine. It's a really great exercise. You, you go from standing to all the way down uh, in push-up pose to back up to standing. And so it's a really good cardiovascular exercise as well. Not only is it helping you to maintain free range of motion in all the limbs and all the joints, but it's also helping you to have cardiovascular health, helping you to burn fat, activating your internal fire, activating your internal sun, which will improve your digestive fire as well. And in this way, there's really, there's so many different benefits to sun salutations. Now, the way to learn sun salutations is first you learn the postures, the 12 postures. So let's go back and let's look at those one more time. First, you're going to learn these 12 postures. Then once that you have memorized the 12 postures, which should just take you a day, then you integrate the breath. After you have integrated the breath, then you're going to start to integrate the mantras. So there's the full mantras. There's 12 mantras for each of these salutations. There's the full mantras, and then there's the short bija mantras. First, you're going to learn the full mantras, which you can find anywhere just doing by like a quick Google search. If you just look for sun salutation mantras, then you can find these. And you say these slowly while you're doing it, right? This is the slow performance. After some time, your body is going to get in shape. You're going to get increasingly more fit and your muscular tone and everything will improve. And you'll be able to do salutations much more quickly. And to be able to make it more intense, you'll do it faster. When you're doing fast sun salutations, you're just going to use the short bija mantras. And there's just six. And you do these six bija mantras two times for each round. So first you learn the postures, then you learn to incorporate the breath, then you learn the full sun mantras, then you learn the short bija mantras. And we do these mantras while you are doing each posture and thank you so much for the great lecture you gave <laughs> thank you so much thank you as well it has been a wonderful blessing